There was a slight misunderstanding in the Scavo house that night. You see, someone in the family was having an affair with a married woman. And Lynette Scavo suspected her husband. Hey! False alarm. The freezer was shut tight. Unfortunately for Lynette, she was wrong. Liar! What? I always knew things could change between us, Tom, but no matter what, the one thing I always thought I'd get is your respect. Lynette, what's going on? I followed you to the warehouse. I know everything. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, at this point, I think I'm going to need a little bit more than that. You're right. I shouldn't have kept this from you. And, you know, for what it's worth, I wanted to bring you in on it. Huh? But I was afraid you'd overreact. Oh. That's what you were afraid of? Hey, I'm upset too, but let's face it. Boys will be boys. I think I have to sit down now. Lynette, are you really surprised? It's not the first time this has happened. And <laughs> it definitely won't be the last. You know what? I have to kill you now. Well, he's your son, too. Who? Oh, Porter! What are you talking about? I found out Porter's been hooking up with some girl at our warehouse. What are you talking about? And just like that, the slight misunderstanding in the Scavo house had ended. Hey, what's up? You're having sex with your best friend's mother? And a huge family crisis had begun. Desire. It's an emotion designed to lead us astray. Causing us to buy things we can't afford. Encouraging us to sample desserts we don't need. And pushing us into love affairs we're clearly not ready for. I want you to call that woman and tell her you are never seeing her again. Her name is Anne. Her name is Mrs. Schilling. She was your t-ball coach when you were six. By the way, does your best friend know you're sleeping with his mother? We're keeping our relationship from Kirby for now. This isn't our relationship. You're being used by this woman. No, I'm not. I love her. Oh, okay. That's it. I'm calling her. No. <gasps> hey, what if her husband answers? Gee, Porter, that's just one of the pitfalls of dating a married woman. Listen to me. Mr. Schilling can't find out. He, he's totally violent. He, he would kill her. Well, then you have put her in a very dangerous position, haven't you? Okay, I'll call her. I'll tell her it's over. I'm not going to say that you know. That'll just freak her out. But you have to promise me that you won't say anything to her psycho husband. I am not promising anything. So help me if I find out that you do something and she gets hurt, I will leave this house and I will never come back. Oh, please, you would never do that. Yeah? Well, I, I've done a lot of things you never thought I would do. Wait. We won't say anything. But if you don't end this, you won't have to leave. We will throw you out. <laughs>